that we set up our dev tools and we set up our actions where they're working now let's change the state of our store and to do that we're going to use reducers so if we go back to the documentation and if you're just joining us you want to make sure you download this library ngrx store and set that up and here they got installation directions and then you could go to this link and go to this link and i'll have this link down in the description the reducers link and there's like three basic steps on setting up a reducer i noticed like the first step is setting up your interface and then the sec the, the second step is setting up your initial state and we'll do that in a second and then the third step is actually creating the reducer and then passing in the initial state and then they have these on methods that handle the different actions that that you want to handle and we'll be setting that up pretty soon too uh, let's work on the first step the first step is setting up our interface state so we go back here and inside of our products and inside the store will open up the index we set up in a prior video and here's the boilerplate for the interface so what is the interface going to look like well we, we're going to have like products array of products in here so products and then we'll use our product interface and then that, that's going to be an array and we have that right in here so we should get back an array of products that's what we're after and then the second parameter is uh, error or the second property is going to be an error so error and that's going to be a type of any and this is when there's a failure we'll populate this so we took care of step one let's take care of step two and that is setting up our initial state so here they set like this property to zero so they give values to their properties and we'll do that as exact same thing so copy this but we're going to assign it to undefined so if we go back here and i'll just throw it right below here and then this is going to be the product state and then now we're getting an error because this is not matching up with this so the initial state of the products is going to be undefined and then as well with the error is going to be undefined as well so i get rid of this and now we took care of step two we set up our initial state now let's take care of step three so here i'll change this up a little bit and it's going to be equal to create reducer so the first thing we want to pass in here is the initial state so initial state and then the second parameter is going to be the on method we want to call that and we'll pull this in so make sure we pull this in and we and you want to pull that in from ngrx store and the first parameter for this is going to be the action name and we're only handling two the failure and the success so load and we'll do the su success first and when this is a uh, hit we want to pass back the uh, product state so we're going to return the new product state products and that's going to come from the action products and you might notice something here we don't actually change the products we don't say products equals you know the new product we actually return a new state and also let's make sure we bring this in from our actions file okay so now we want to take care of the second action so let's just copy this so typing it all out and i'll just add that right below here chain it on and then this is going to be for the failure and here we'll return the state we're not actually returning a new state for the product so we'll just return the current state but we are returning the error so that's going to come from the action and error okay and we took care of step three so now make sure we save it and now we're ready for testing now in the next couple videos we're going to be changing this around a lot there's actually a better way of doing this but this should work and also make sure you double check this make sure this name matches up with your products.module so if you go back here and you want to make sure this name matches this right here so this reducers name and also your product state feature key so let's test this make sure this is working i already have the application running so if we go back here and then if we go to the view all products page and as you can see right here if we go to state 
and click on this one, we have our information now within the store. Now we're not actually getting the information from the store and showing it to the screen yet. We'll be setting that up in the next video. But before we do that, let's actually test to make sure our failure is working as well. If we go back to here, I'm just gonna trigger an error. I'll, I'll trigger it from the service and I'll just throw some gibberish in here. So test and then save that. That should give us an error. If we go back here and now we're getting an error. Very good. Click on this, click on the new state and then here is our error. Very good. So I'll make sure I go back and change that so I don't forget. So everything is working pretty good. So now what we want to do is actually pluck some information out of our store and actually use it uh, and actually display it to our component. After I take care of this error, fix this first. There we go. Go back here. So in the next video, we're going to start selecting things from our store and showing it to the screen. So I'll see you then.